Net neutrality is the basis for a functioning internet infrastructure. It's a way of ensuring competition between different uh, telecoms providers and it makes sure that uh, making the internet slower or limiting internet capacity can't be turned into a business model that is more profitable than improving the quality of the services. I think we still have big problems with internet speeds across Europe that a lot of people don't have access to broadband internet and uh, violations of net neutrality are just going to continue to contribute to this problem rather than solving it. Currently in the European Union uh, there has just been a new law passed at a European level in the form of a regulation. So this is a directly applicable net neutrality law throughout Europe. Before that only the Netherlands and Slovenia had specific net neutrality laws and uh, now for the first time ever we have a, a European standard. Um, this law was adopted at the end of 2015. And since then, uh, the telecoms regulators in, uh, that are organized on a European level have uh, created some guidelines of how this uh, law is supposed to be interpreted and uh, how it's supposed to be implemented. So uh, basically, uh, the net neutrality principles uh, now apply throughout the EU. But um, there are some uh, limited conditions under which, for example, a telecoms provider can offer a specialized service. And uh, we will have to see in practice uh, whether this law is sufficient for actually um, ensuring net neutrality. This depends really on how the telecoms regulators in the different EU countries and how the courts end up interpreting and applying this law. The main opponents of net neutrality are telecoms providers, especially the larger telecoms providers. There are some smaller ones that actually favor net neutrality uh, in order to increase competition. And uh, the way the telecoms operators argue is usually that their investment is necessary um, uh, in order to increase uh, the availability of broadband speed and of fast mobile internet and so on. And the only way they are going to invest is if they have high profits. So everything that uh, allows them to increase uh, profits would uh, in theory be uh, beneficial for uh, investment into broadband. So they say well, if net neutrality laws uh, restrict them from exploring certain business models, like for example charging money to um, uh, the providers of online services or introducing zero rated services for their mobile uh, offers, that this way they will have lower profits and therefore they will invest less uh, into the uh, broadband infrastructure. And that's how they put pressure on politics to uh, lower the standards of net neutrality. On this argument uh, for, uh, about the competition, it's important to look at what has worked in the past and uh, usually simply higher profits for a company have not led to higher investment if the expectation is not that the investment will actually uh, create new business opportunities. So in my view, net neutrality is uh, more of a, a way of actually turning low speeds and scarcity into a business model and I think we actually need to uh, introduce net neutrality to make uh, companies invest into broadband.